Hello, welcome to another beer review and we are going to Yorkshire for this one. Well, we, we're not going to Yorkshire, I'm in Yorkshire. <laughs> I'm taking you to Yorkshire. <laughs> we are going to Osset. Now, I've never been to Osset. I don't know whereabouts in Yorkshire it is. Um, could be South Yorkshire. Anyway, we have got Yorkshire Blonde. Lovely jubbly, boys and girls. There you go, there's the front. There is the back side with lots of technical information for all you geeks out there. Um, first off, before I start, I'm going to give another shout to another beer tuber who, um, who, who's a really good bloke as well. Um, Dean's Beer Reviews. Check him out. He's a great reviewer, actually. He's, he's really good. Uh, we do similar beers as well. I noticed on his, on his list of beers he's doing, we must be getting our beers from the same places. <laughs> but he's a really good viewer. Yeah, he's, 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 he's top-notching. So um, get, hold, get hold on Dean, Dean's... Um, excuse me, I've got wind. <laughs> Dean's uh, beer reviews on, on YouTube and, and, and watch his videos. They're really good, really good. Why? Right. Let's get down to the beer. Osset Brewery. Um, the Osset Brewing Company is a family-owned independent brewery located in the heart of Yorkshire. Um, our award-winning ales are all brewed using the finest quality English-grown barley and wheat malts along with hops from around the world. Science and art combined in the, in the creation of this unique English ale. Um, it won the IBC Bonds uh, in 2014. A premium, slightly stronger version of our hugely popular car scale. This lager coloured ale. Lager coloured ale? <laughs> well, it's, it's full body, well rounded and slightly sweet on the palate. A generous late addition of Mount Hood hops result in a delicate fruity aroma. There's another beer I had Mount Hood, Hood hops, but I can't read them. I can't remember what it was now. Anybody out there who's had a beer with Mount Hood hops, hop, in, in any beer with, because I can't remember what I had. Anybody out there who had a beer with Mount Hood hop, hops in, put it in my comments. I'd like to know. Then I might might trigger something up here, and I think, oh, that was a beer, but I can't remember anyway. Um, so it goes into all the technical stuff about you know what you're gonna smell, what you're gonna taste, and I'll I'll leave all that you know alone, like we do. So let's crack her open, see what we get from her, see what the old girl's gonna give us. She might not give us anything. This Yorkshire blonde. I don't know many Yorkshire Blondes. I don't even know any famous Yorkshire Blondes. There's another one for you lot out there. Anybody who knows who's famous, who's from Yorkshire and has got blondes, blonde hair, put it in my comments, because I can't think of anybody. Anyway, cheers. I'm going to go and cheers for having sniffed me enough. Nice lemon. More lime. There's more lime than lemon. Like a freshly mowed grass comes to mind on this. With a lime, slight biscuit note there in the aroma. It smells quite balanced. Um, all these, all these kind of like um, aromas are, are kind of like at the same level. You know, there's there's not. There's not one bossing it about, so I think this is going to be an ideal session now. Um, got a feeling. So let's see what she comes out like. She's come out blonde, blonde, white head. Um, well, actually, he said that it's lager coloured. That's a little bit more paler than a lager. It's not your well from why I'm. It's looking dark on the screen, but. Well, I am. It's not that um, lager coloured, but 
What do I know about lager? What do I know about anything? But <laughs> it's kind of like um, a real readiness there. Um, maybe you know, um, a bit cress, cressy. You know, the cress you used to get putting your sandwiches at school and that. Um, there's a hedgerowy um, kind of smell there. And a slight hint of, of lime, we would maybe a hint, a hint of a gooseberry even coming off. It smells really nice, it's, it just smells like one of them beers you're going to knock back all day. You know, it's coming to that time. And actually, I was thinking the other day, let's pull this out, that it's coming to that time of year where I don't know about you lot out there, but for me. Sometimes the the time of year dictates what type dictates to me what type of beer to drink. Um, I've noticed there's a pattern in my behaviour that um, in the summer I usually have you know blonde beers you know or something like old golden hen and stuff like that. And in the winter I tend to go for the heavier, uh, stronger beers or your Belgian beers or even you know your stouts as well. It's strange. I've noticed. I noticed that with the way I, I look for when I go in the shop, and it's, you know, in the summer I go for all the blondes and all that. Then in the winter I'll, I'll buy a lot more stouts, maybe more Belgian beers. And anybody out there? Yeah, another one for you. Anybody out there who's got some sort of disorder when they buy their beer? That it depends on what time of year it is that um, you go for a certain style. Put it in the comments, I'd like to know. I really would. <laughs> so cheers. Watch Dean's beer reviews. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's lovely. Um, hits you first. Nice big lime there. A little bit of cerealness there. Um, but as soon as I tasted it, I thought, yeah. Real sessionable beer. This is. Um, the, there's a biscuit and a cracker coming through. On the back end, you get that slight hint of grassiness from the hops and that. It's really, really nice. That is wonderful. Really is nice lemon. Citrus is coming. You know, lemon. Um, grapefruit, the lime is the boss, um, boss in it, it's not that bitter, it just is a real nice sessionable beer, it's really nice, it is, this is a beer you can drink all day, um, and um, it's a great Yorkshire beer. Fantastic. Fantastic beer. I'm a bit lost for words at the moment for some reason. <coughs> Excuse me. Boys and girls. Osset Brewery. Yorkshire Blonde. Really nice beer. Highly recommend that one. It's my first beer from Osset Brewery. See if I can get some more and I'll tell you boys and girls out there what it's like. That is really, really nice. Really nice. So thanks for watching this review. Please subscribe, murder me in the comments, and I shall see you on my next one, so cheers.